YouTube. It's I here the eighth and today I'm going to play with Banshee, but not in the way that you think. I have been playing around with Banshee a lot and watching a lot of YouTube videos by the YouTuber Quiet Chai, in which I have stolen Quiet Chai's build for Banshee. She calls it I'm calling her she, even though we don't know who what gender Quiet Chai is. I'm saying it's a she. Um, um, she calls it Savage Silence. Now, only difference between the Savage Silence build that uh, she has is that she has a healing expertise on and a prime continuity. Just because. Now, just, I don't know, good. Anyway, I'm going to put healing expertise on and prime continuity. But, leaving expertise is not maxed or anywhere near maxed, so I can't actually do that. At the moment, which is actually not that, it's actually, stretch is actually very useful. I right now you can put fine continuity on there. But I'm probably gonna have to. So, whatever. <clears throat> In the meantime, let's show you what the Savage Spanchy build can do. It's great for just about everything. Oh crap, wait a minute. Can I bring this with me? I cannot bring this with me. I almost got destroyed in a freaking T1 trying to rank my heck back up because I just formatted it. So it's, it's back down to rank zero. Well, now it's 7, but it was at rank 0, okay? Yeah, okay. So, I've done a lot of mod hunting. Crap, I should show you all the mods that I've gotten recently. Holy crap. I've went through a lot of mod hunting. And this is what I've gotten. Starting with that video I've made. With, uh, something about... Where I got... Where is it? Yeah, vol Volcanic Strike. These are all the good mods that I've gotten since I've gotten Volcanic Strike, which is about Friday. Okay, so I've gotten Resonance, the Banshee Augment mod. I've also gotten Savage Silence, the Banshee Augment mod. I've also gotten Heavy Caliber twice. I'm gonna tell you what I did with the other Heavy Caliber first, but let me just get through this. You know? Uh, Spoiled Strike, Vicious Spread. And leading expertise. Then I've got all these other mods over here, like Cold Viper and Willow. But I already had these mods multiple times, so I don't really need to go over those too much. As I've also had Heavy Caliber multiple times, but I always end up selling it because we're on platinum and stuff. But this one I'm actually going to keep. So, all right, that's great. That's great. I just don't know what I'm going to put it on, considering that it ruins the accuracy. If it's not accurate, then what's the freaking point of using it? Alright, let's do this. Void mission, void mission, void mission. Uh, Tara T2 destroy bay. Great. I can rank up my Orthos Prime. And I can rank up my Axe Baker is another mod <laughs> that I need. I'm not gonna use it very often, but you know, for frames like. Did I just get a text? I did. Oh, it's Argon Crystal Lair. That's funny. Um, but for more friends like Mirage, who kind of need the extra boost, instead of just putting on a redirection and or a vitality, just throw on Vigor. Pretty much the same thing. Right? Right. Oh, shoot. I'm like, I'm like surrounded. Totally surrounded. Oh, gosh. Whew. Alright, I meant to cast... Uh, sonar, not silence. But hey, what the heck? I don't care. Um. So let's go over what resonance and the savage silence do, and what makes the savage banshee build so great, even though it's so unconventional. Well, first off, my favorite one by far, 
resonance. What resonance will do is every time you cast sonar and you kill, wow, and you kill something where like the little white stuff is, you it's going to cast another resonance for the for the remaining duration that the sonar is on. So watch me kill this, and then another sonar is casted, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. It's like having sonar infinitely. It's as long as you keep killing. It's great, isn't it? I should probably go back here and get this one guy. I hate leaving guys behind, you know? There we go. More. More sonar. It's really great, and you don't really need to put any duration on Banshee because it's not. Because the only reason why you really need duration, or the only reason why it'd be useful, is to keep the sonar on the enemies as long as possible. But when you've got resonance, that's not a problem. You're just gonna keep killing things and it's just going to keep increasing the duration of uh, resonance of sonar even longer, so it's great. It's really great. Next we have Savage Silence, which is how you get the name of the Savage Banshee build. But hey, hey, whatever. What Savage Silence will do is when you cast the ability Silence, it will it will open up every anything and everything to a finishing move. Now that is great considering that finishing moves usually do well with a maxed out combo, of course. Usually do anywhere between 1,000 to 9,000 damage, and that's extremely good because I have not maxed out my Savage Silence yet. So it's only at 150%. If I keep going, and it's at 300%, I don't know what the heck my freaking Tombo is going to be doing, but hey. As you can see, I'm not using the Tombo right now, so that's the thing. The um, reason why the Savage Banshee build works so well with Savage Silence is that you don't have a lot of duration. Savage Banshee build removes a lot of the duration altogether, making it easy to recast Savage Silence, making it easier to stack up the finishing blows, making it a lot easier to just pulverize and murder everything. Which is why I freaking love this build, because it does exactly what it needs to do while blending every single one of the augment mods for Banshee in beauty. It's amazing, it's really really great. Clyde Chai did a very great job with this build, unless she didn't come up with it. In that case, whoever came up with it did a very good job with this build. Um, not to mention the increased in efficient efficiency for this is pretty good if you have leading expertise. It's not you can just use streamline and probably get the same amount. I'm not exactly sure what the max is for um, leading expertise actually. So. Well, I'm actually really not sure, but I actually really do need to figure out which is more feeding expertise or streamline because I seem to be running out of energy very quickly with Banshee. It's really pissing me the heck off because I just want to kill things. I don't want to have to wait for Jewel to dig up some energy for me. It's annoying as heck. Really? Speaking of heck. Oh gosh, the heck. I'm, I liked ranking it up the first time, but ranking anything up a second time is kind of like a punishment. Very much like a punishment. Shoot, are you serious? I don't know why people don't use this weapon more often, but anyway, we continue. They're so used to the infinite cosmic power that the weapon has in the first place, then when you form it and you have to redo everything, you're stuck with any things. And it's really pissing me off because I'm usually destroying level 40, level 30 stuff. And now I'm like, I can barely kill rank 10 and 13. Even with scattered justice on it. I probably should have put point, point blank on first. But hey, whatever. Oh. Oh, I just hate sound quake. It's so good, you know? I like using it, but I have to. I use it mainly whenever somebody's down in a mission, and all I gotta do is just like sound quake, hold everything in place, and let the other guy 
100% heal that guy. And then I'm like, okay, we're done. Or if I'm like panicking. <sighs> if I'm panicking and I think I'm playing Mesa, and I can just hit press 4, it still works anyway, because the press 4 for Banshee. But press 4 for Banshee isn't actually that bad, so. Whoosh. Also, I like Sound Quick. Oh, sound quick. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom is great. Just knock down stuff. If you're surrounded and you just want to get that finishing blow on down, it's just pretty useful. All of Banshee's mods are useful, especially with their respective Augment mods. Wow, that was uncalled for. You stay down, sir. Just trying to finish you all. Bastard. Oh, wow, look at this. Nope. Nope. Not today. I'll come back for you. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Wow. I, I didn't make it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, son of a bastard. You killed Kenny. You killed Kenny. I'm gonna get this guy because he's like the strongest one. Really? Freaking killed the one I didn't want to kill. That's lame. I freaking hate laser traps. I hate them ice traps. I hate everything. I hate everything. Gosh. Oh, you gotta be. Meh. And your peace. Hey, maybe I should have destroyed these first. That's a good idea. Your neck's over there. Great. Now you can't move. Alright, what is this guy shooting at? It sucks. I have no aim. No aim! I have no aim. It sucks having no aim. I swear it does. I swear it does. Also, if there's anybody who's watching this who wants to uh, join a clan on PlayStation, I can help you with that. The clan I am in for PlayStation is dead. And since I'm like pretty high up on the freaking thing, I can just 100% do whatever I want. Add people. I could do everything except change the message of the day. It pisses me off because the message of the day says that we need Polymer Bundle. But I finished all the builds for Polymer. Basically, me and this other guy are the only people in the clan who really come on anymore. So if anybody who plays PlayStation Warframe wants in on a clan, wants to be in YouTube videos with me, 100% PM me. Your Warframe name. I mean, you're worth your PSN and I'll add you and stuff like that. Blah blah blah. Sounds great? Okay. Sounds great. Oh gosh, I'm so hungry. The Sabaris is freaking wrecking everything. I can love this gun. Sure, don't, sure it has a slow magazine. Sure it has... Sure it's a burst. Actually, bursting makes it better. Sure, it has high critical. What? High critical? Yeah, high critical. I'm pretty sure this has almost as much, if not more, than the Soma. I don't know how much the Soma has, so I'm kind of jumping the gun on that statement a little bit. But nonetheless, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that was boss. How do you kill somebody with a gun? Oh, gosh, it looks like a musket. Sabaris looks like a musket. It's. A must get. Uh, it's a must get weapon. You must get it. Uh, I have no friends. I'm getting it. I have lots of friends. Is that the end? This is the end of the mission. Great, great, great. Ah, I'm going to show you what is their rare working canister. No, I get hype whenever I see those because it's usually a rare working canister in there. I love Ray or anything. Oh wow, Nova Prime Blueprint. Now I have two! Gosh. Can I get something I can sell, please? Well, at least I got Argon Crystals. I hate how they try to make Argon Crystals seem like the rarest freaking resource in the game. Where, if you haven't realized it, Neural Centers and Neurodes are the rarest thing in the game. Granted, the planet to go to to get them on is very easy. And. They drop like flies. But the thing is, is that everything that you need in order to be good at Warframe requires neurons for you to craft it. Form up. 
working catalysts, or working reactors. You're starting to get the big picture here. Helmets require neuro. What does what requires argon crystals? Warframes, yeah, but you're not going to be crafting a warframe every single day or every single week. You feel me? Argon crystals are used once every now and then. The angstrom, the Cronin, I think the Quanta, something like that. Sure, there's those in the argon crystals, but not everything requires argon crystals. Practically everything requires neural sensors or neurodes in, in order to be crafted. And you haven't noticed, you're always low on neural sensors and neurodes, aren't you? Yeah, you thought you were slick. Thought you were slick. Anyway, let me go look at the critical rating for the Soma and then the crit. I can just go to Arsenal look from there. Uh, critical rating on the Sabaris. The Sabaris has a it's a critical 25% critical hit. Oh, uh, the Soma has 30 or something like that, I believe. Yeah, it has 30. Do not split the dream. Well, anyway, the Sabaris still has a very good critical rating. As mine is at what is it? I can't see that. Mine is at 62%, I believe. So much gets up to 68. So yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. I need the form of this thing so I can throw on. Uh, I want to say heavy caliber. I ranked up heavy caliber, but then that would ruin the accuracy. Even though this thing has pretty darn good accuracy. If anything, I would put on it. I'd probably put on critical blade because this thing has a very high fire rate. It fires three bullets. It fires 3.3 .3 bullets in one second. Which is actually not that good because that's like releasing, since it releases two bullets at a time, that's like pressing the trigger twice. Pressing the trigger twice will get you only 3.3 .3 bullets. Uh, you know they're saying that the other bullet is like, I don't know, one third of its way out of the barrel? Is that what they're saying? I think that's what they're trying to say. I guess so. Anyway, it's been fun. Now let's go over the Savage Banshee build because I totally 100% recommend it for everybody who hasn't. We just get rid of this, get rid of this, continuity, continuity, then the expertise, which we need to rank up. Here it is Transient Fortitude, Intensify, Prime Flow, Vitality, Fleeting Expertise, Prime Continuity, Savage Silence and resonance i almost hit the tutorial thing for a second ah that was funny anyway it's been fun and i was going to show you guys something else after this but then i got a little sidetracked and that exterminate took a little longer than i thought and blah 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 blah, blah and i'm hungry and i want to eat something anyway this has been really fun i really has i sound really out of it but i'm actually having tons of fun <sighs> please ow <sighs> No, that sounded horrible. Let's try it again. <clears throat> 38 out.